It's a scene that plays out across basic training sites. Get off the bus. Recruits showing up for their first day in the U.S. Army. This mission is made possible by the men and women that don the drill sergeant hat. But today is different. As a bus pulls in, it's not full of new recruits, but spouses. Welcome to 30th AG. Here to see what drill sergeants do day in and day out. Do you understand? Yes, drill sergeant! At this point, new recruits spill out with a newfound speed, but these recruits gracefully exit with a tad of excitement. Woo! After an attempted formation, they begin in processing. The 30th AG received and processed more than 33,000 soldiers into the Army last year alone. Many of the people think soldiers just show up and start training immediately. They don't understand all the processes that go into a soldier coming into the Army with all the medical screening, uniforms and dental screening, etc. The first stop is the barber. They have to get all that crazy hair. Some of them come with braids, long hair. You, curlies, <laughs> crazy. So this is the first stop where they get their haircut so they can start looking like soldiers. As civilians begin their process into soldiers, drill sergeants deal with long hours and time away from home. They go through a tremendous lot of stress and um, if you don't know what their day's like or what their process is in dealing with trainees or you know new recruits, um, then you can't relate to them. This tour not only gave them an opportunity to be in the boots of a drill sergeant and see how their influence impacts the beginning of a young soldier's career, it helps strengthen their Army family. It feels nice comfortable, yes. It gives them a great appreciation for what our soldiers do. It also gives them a better understanding. Some of the hard work and the sacrifices that their soldiers actually endure on a daily basis. Tighten the lines up. Sarah Tate, Fort Benning TV.